this criminal is being detained for lying. And I need you guys to help me find out what she's lying about. Today, we're gonna be playing two truths and one lie. <laughs> on this desk, on this paper is her statement. I'm gonna find out what she's lying about. And I'm gonna need you guys to comment below what you think she's lying about to help me break this prisoner. Are you ready? Bring it on. Make sure you hit that like button right now because this is something new, this is something lit, and we going down. Two truths and one lie. Statement number one. A teacher hit on me when I was in ninth grade. Statement number two. I almost drowned at Wasaga Beach. <laughs> number three. I was offered to be flown out to Miami by a guy. What was this teacher's name that hit on you? I can't tell you that. Why can't you tell me the teacher's name? Confidential information. It's confidential? Yes. When he hit on you, what did you do? I didn't do nothing. Who did you tell? No one. Well, actually, he made it known to my mom. Oh, so now he made it known to your mom? Yeah. <laughs> indirectly. How did he indirectly make it known to your mom? He called her. He called and her? He was raving about me. So you said you almost drowned in Wasega Beach. Mm -hmm. What day was it? I don't remember the day. Who did you go with to the beach? My family. And nobody seen you drowning? My sister did eventually. Did she help? Yep. But I recall you know how to swim. So how could you almost drown? But do you know at what age I figured out how to swim? What age? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> what age did you figure out to swim? It's your job, sir. Okay, cool. I was offered to be flown out to Miami by a guy. Who's this guy? I'm not gonna tell you that. What's his name? Confidential. Why didn't you go? I didn't want to go. I had a man at the Why time. Why wouldn't you want to go to Miami? You like Miami. I had a man at the time. Did you tell your man? No. Nope. Did she tell her man? No. So that means that you were cheating? No. Nope. So you kept this from your man? Some things are better left unsaid. Y'all, what are we going with? What is she lying about and what is she isn't lying about? So, I think the teacher hit on me when I was in grade nine, could be true because Kristen was a baddie. She was fine, I ain't gonna lie. And now you know how sometimes people be doing the craziest things. And you know, teachers sometimes have a crazy way in this day and age of hitting on students that they should not be doing. So I can see that that being happened. I almost drowned at Wissega Beach. Hmm. This one's a little iffy because you know how to swim. And at first you said nobody saw you, then you said your sister saw you. You were tripping up on your words. <laughs> and I was offered to be flown out to Miami by a guy. Now, this is very possible. Miami is a hot place. Kristen does look great. She has a fire Instagram. She has some great photos and I can see guys DMing you. This is something that I already see sometimes guys DMing her, so. I believe the lie is. I almost drowned at Wasega Beach. A teacher hit on me when I was in ninth grade. Truth. I almost drowned at Wasaga Beach. Truth. Oh. I was offered to be flown out to Miami by a guy is the lie. What? How, Fuck. how did you job, almost sir. drown? A piece of seaweed hit my leg and I panicked and I was starting to go down. You know how to... I know how to swim, so why but the seaweed scared so me. So why did you lie and say at first nobody seen? Because at first said, nobody saw. And then I was wailing my hands, screaming. I was so far out in the water. And my sister, Justine, my older sister, finally heard me and came to my rescue. I almost drowned at Wasaga Beach. Looks like I won't be detained today. We're moving on to statement number two. I was arrested but never charged for stealing a dress in grade Eight. I was so obsessed with my seventh grade boyfriend that I always gave him food and money. Tory Lanez asked for my number before he was famous. Who did you go with to the mall when you got caught stealing? My sister. What color was the dress? I don't remember. What store was it? I don't 
don't remember that either. So you just remember that you never got charged, but you almost got arrested. I remember that I didn't get charged, but I was so grateful because I was like, well, I'm underage, so that's why they can't charge me. What store was it? Don't remember. You don't remember at all? No, I just remember stealing a dress. Did your sister get caught too? No. So it was just you? Yeah. Okay. She didn't steal anything. Okay. Why did you give your ex-boyfriend food and money? Because I was obsessed with him. When did you give it to him? Like, what was the scenario? I would give it to him, like, at recess. At recess, you just come and say, here's food and here's money. <laughs> yeah. You didn't need to ask. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I was so obsessed with him that I just gave him whatever I felt that I had at the time. Mr. Tory Lanez himself asked you for your number and you never gave it to him. That's correct. Why didn't you give it to him? I had a man at the time. So where was this place when he asked you for the number? He was performing at like a little underground spot. He was rapping. He was rapping? Mm -hmm. What age was this? Um, I believe I was in high school. What, what was this underground spot? Where did you go with him? And it was somewhere in Brampton and I was with Crystal. And he came up to me after his performance and we were in a vehicle, me and Crystal, and he made us roll down the window and asked me for my number. And you said no? Tell him the same thing you told me you didn't have a phone. No, I just no. said no. Okay, guys, I was arrested but never charged for stealing a dress in grade eight. I believe that is a lie. I don't see you stealing. You stole the dress but didn't know where you stole from. You were the only one that didn't that that got caught. No one else did. Nah, it doesn't really work like that. How come your parents weren't called? It doesn't work like that. You're underage. They have to call your parents. That's a lot. You never asked me if the parents were called. Were your parents called? Yes. Did your mom come for you? Yes. What did she do? What she did got she mad at me and I got beats. That is 100% lie because Miss Patterson does not give beats. My dad did. You said Miss Patterson. No, she got mad at me and my dad would perform the beats. And you said this was in grade eight? Yeah. It's not adding up. Pops wasn't there in grade eight. Really? <laughs> that is the lie. Okay. That is the lie. Pops wasn't there in grade eight. Okay. I believe the other two are the truth because, you know, I do remember her first boyfriend was somebody that she was obsessed with. Yes, she said that was her first love. And I can believe that Tory Lanez asked you for the number because you used to go out to parties with Crystal. It's kind of, the math is math in a little bit. I do think that is correct. I was so obsessed with my seventh grade boyfriend that I always gave him food and money. That is the truth. Tory Lanez asked for my number before he was famous. That is a fact. Jeez! I was arrested but never charged for stealing a dress in grade eight. That was the lie. It just didn't add up. It just didn't add up. You didn't remember what you stole. You didn't remember all these things. And it wouldn't just be you getting arrested. Then you said that your dad was there. And you know, if I recall correctly, that just doesn't add up. Okay, we don't good get job, deep officer. Into it, but I got it right. Good job, your officer. Your poker face wasn't good enough. So we're gonna move on. Statement number three. I was in one of the Drake music videos. I was once hospitalized for alcohol poisoning. I climbed into a dresser and I almost died. This Drake video, what was the name of it? Do you need to know? I do need to know. Hotline Bling. What was your role in the video? I was a call center girl. Okay. You were once hospitalized for alcohol poisoning. What did you drink that night? Vodka. What kind? I don't know. Where? At a party with Crystal. So it seems like this Crystal character is always a culprit in these things. No, she was a good influence. I was the bad. How many drinks did you have that night? One too many. My limit is like two. I had like seven. Did Crystal come with you to the hospital? Yes. Was your mom called? Yes. And your mom came and picked you up? Mm -hmm. And after that experience, did you drink again? Yeah. You did. Which so was you a never, bad idea. You never learned your lesson. I did. I never drank that much again, but... Okay. And what age were you when you were hospitalized? It was grade nine. Okay. You climbed into a dresser and almost died. Mm -hmm. So may I ask, where was this dresser? In my older sister's room. What possessed you to climb into the dresser? I was young and dumb, and I wanted to experience something new. And how did you almost die? I climbed into the dresser, and it was so heavy, but I was heavy too, so the dresser started to topple over. And you considered that almost dying because it toppled over? Yeah, because in time, my sister came to save me. So were you in the dresser, or were you out the dresser? I was in the dresser. You were in the dresser? Yes, I opened one of the shelves, mm -hmm. and I climbed in, and the dresser started to topple over on me. Was there anything in the dresser? 
Yeah. You. Yeah, and other stuff. So you physically put your two feet and your whole body in the dresser cabinet. Yes. And then it started to fall over. I'm guessing because it wasn't balanced, it started to fall over. I would have needed to close the dresser with me in it. Okay. Well, I believe the lie is I was once hospitalized for alcohol poisoning. The reason why I believe this is the lie is because the math is not mathing on this one, miss. You wouldn't push yourself to that limit. You don't like drinking. And if you do drink, you don't like drinking hard liquor. The reason why I believe she was in the Drake Hotline Bling video is because I seen her. Which only leaves it to be one last thing. I climbed into the dresser and almost died. Now, I believe that this could be the truth because you are very clumsy. And I have seen a couple baby videos of you and I can see that she was a devil. She was a demon. And I can see that you did this. I can, I can, I can. So I'm gonna go with, I was once hospitalized for alcohol poisoning. I was in one of Drake's music videos is the truth. <laughs> I climbed into a dresser and almost died. I was once hospitalized for alcohol poisoning. The lie is, I was once hospitalized for alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Detective Reef! Yeah. Ha! Statement number four. I was asked to be in Justin Bieber's music video. I was asked to be in Dexter Dapp's music video. I played Lisa Left Eye Lopez in TLC television documentary. You say you were in Justin Bieber's music video, or you were asked to be in the video. That is correct. What song was it that they asked you to be in? Baby. Do you know what your role was going to be? The girl. The girl in the video. Doing, his love interest. Doing what? I don't know, just walking around being his love interest. But there was no girl in that video walking around being his love yes, interest. Yes, there was. No, there wasn't. Do you know what song it is? Yeah, baby, 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 ooh. Did you see the video? Did you see the video? Yes, I did. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Why did you turn it down? Because I was too scared. Why would you be scared? It's an opportunity. I was still too scared though. What were you scared about? He was so huge as a celebrity. I didn't want to be on there and being judged. I was younger at the time. Being judged for what? Being the girl in the video. <laughs> okay. You were asked to be in Dex and Daps music video. This is what you said, correct? Mm -hmm. This is you that wrote this? Yes. When you were asked to be in a video, why did you turn it down? I was scared. But you were also scared to be in this music video. Yes. Why were you scared for this one? Because I know his music videos get a little racy. Racy. Can you explain what that means? Explicit content. Explicit content. Okay. You decided that you didn't want to do it because it was your your role. Was your role in this video going to be explicit? Yes. And you played Lisa Lefai Lopez in a TOC documentary. That's correct. And who were you? Lisa Lefai Lopez. Sir. To make sure that you were in line. Okay. <laughs> To a dumb officer. <laughs> I said to see if I caught you. Okay, what did you do in the documentary? I played Lisa Latai Lopez. What was one of your key roles? Setting a house on fire. And did you set the house on fire? I did. What did you use to burn the house down? A match. And why did you burn the house down? Because I know the story. I suspected that man was cheating. And you burned his match down? Yes. So you're crazy. That's correct. As a character. Okay. All right, y'all. We are gonna see what the lie is. Now, I'm pretty sure I figured out what the lie is already, just from the first statement, but we're gonna read them. I do believe her playing Lisa Left Eye Lopez in the television documentary is true because I watched it and you guys watched it. So that is the truth. I was asked to be in a Dexter Dap music video. Now, she said the reason why she turned this video down is because it had to be explicit. Her role in the video was gonna be explicit. Do you know what song it was gonna be? I don't remember. You don't remember the song? I know Kristen, and there's no way she's gonna be in an explicit video if that's gonna be her role. So I know that is also the truth. Now you know, and I know, and you know within yourself, there's no way you're gonna turn down a Justin Bieber music video when he's the biggest, he was the biggest thing that you played during that time, right? And you wouldn't want to be his love interest so that all those people wanted to know who was this girl and open more doors for yourself. You would turn that down because you were shy. Is that what you're saying to me? That is correct. That's the lie. That is the lie. I was asked to be in Dexter Dow's music 
video. That is the truth. Mm. I play Lisa Lefty Lopez in a TLC television documentary, and I was asked to be in Justin Bieber's music video. The truth is, I play Lisa Lefty Lopez. Statement number five. I fought a girl over a guy in high school. I caught my mom flirting with one of my sister's boyfriends. My first kiss was with a leaf attached to a boy's mouth. <laughs> you fought a girl in high school over a guy. That's correct. Was this guy your boyfriend? That is correct. What did she do? She was flirting with him. And how did you find out? The girls at the school. So the girls at the school told you that the girl was flirting with boyfriend. That's correct. Did you confront your boyfriend? That's correct. Did he say yes he was flirting with this girl? Incorrect. So he said he wasn't flirting with the girl and you still decided to fight the girl? That's correct. With no evidence? Correct. Well the evidence was the girl's telling me. What was the girl's name? Which girl? That you fought. That's confidential. It's not? It is. You can blank out the name. I need to know no, if it's actually sir, like a real do name. Do your job and you find You're out who the girl is. You say you caught your mom flirting with one of your sister's boyfriends. That's correct. How did you catch your mom doing that? I saw her through the window. Through the window? So this boyfriend was at the house? That's correct. So what window was it that you seen them through? Room window. Through your room window? That's correct. So where were they? In the backyard. Mm. And when you say flirted, what were they doing? Being a little bit too friendly. Too friendly? Can you explain what that means a little bit more in depth? What does too friendly mean? Laughing a lot, touching of the hand. Touching of the hand, which hand was being touched? I don't remember. Who was touching who? My mom was touching him. Your mom was touching him. And you say your first kiss was with a leaf. That's correct. Attached to a boy's mouth. That's correct. Why? I didn't want to kiss him directly. Okay. So you were shy? Yes. And this first kiss was with who? Was it a boyfriend? Was it your like, That's confidential. No, it's not. These are information. You need to answer the question. It questions. says in a statement. It says in the kid, my, my, my kiss was with a boy. I need to know, was this well, a random boy? Was this a know. boy on the street? Just a random boy on the street? Or was this a boyfriend? It's confidential. <laughs> confidential? Is this a random boy on the street? I can't tell you that. So you just found the first boy you see and said, hey, let's try to kiss you. Put a leaf in between us. And we're gonna kiss the leaf. I can't confirm, nor deny. Okay. And after you kissed with the leaf in between your mouth, how did that go? I was happy. You were happy. Ecstatic. And what happened with that boy after? We didn't date. You never dated? No. You guys just stopped talking. He was too nerdy for me. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to I caught my mom flirting with my sister's boyfriend. Did you tell your sister? I did. And what did she do? She didn't believe it. Did she come from your mom? No. She didn't come from your mom. Did no. you come from your mom? No. Why not? What would I say? Why were you talking to her boyfriend? That is not okay. No. So you just decided to leave the situation alone? Yes, because then she would ask me for proof. And would I say that they were being too friendly and holding hands? She would just deny it. So in that situation, when you seen something like that, why weren't you recording it? Why didn't you take proof? I didn't think of that. You didn't think of that? No, I just told my sister right away. So as soon as you seen it, did you go and tell your sister? No, I waited till I finished seeing it. So after you seen it, you went and told your sister? Yes. After you told your sister, why didn't your sister go and say something to your mom? I don't know, but she didn't. Your sister wasn't home? Yes, she was. She was in her room. So your sister was in her room? That's why her boyfriend was there. But your boyfriend was, but the boyfriend was outside talking to the mom? Yes. That doesn't make sense. Why would the sister be in the room but the boyfriend's talking outside with the mom? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. What's wrong with that? You tell me what's wrong with that. Why is the mom outside with the boyfriend by herself? They were talking. I don't know. And your sister was just sleeping? She was not sleeping. So what was she doing in the room? I don't know. Maybe getting ready to go outside. And at that point, there was no commotion. Your sister didn't say anything or do anything. No, she didn't believe me. Alright y'all, I fought a girl over a guy in high school. I'm gonna go with that is the truth. The reason why I'm gonna say that's the truth because she did say she was obsessed with her ex-boyfriend and I believe that guy, even though she's not telling me, would have been her ex-boyfriend in high school because her ex it had to be her ex-boyfriend in high school. And she did recently say she was crazy about him. Now, that is incorrect. 
You can say what you want. It to was say. different boyfriends. It was different boyfriends. Yes. So how many boyfriends did you have? One of them didn't count. The younger one that I gave food and money to. That doesn't count. No, I was in grade seven. Okay, so in total you have four boyfriends, is what you're saying? This boyfriend that I fought the girl over was a different. Was one. in grade eight. And that has nothing to do with your other three boyfriends. Is what you're telling me? No. Nope. So how many boyfriends did you have in total? About ten. Ten boyfriends? <laughs> what the? No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You never know if I'm throwing you for a loop or not. We're gonna stick to our guns. Her first kiss was with a leaf attached to a boy's mouth. This is a little far-fetched, but we're talking about Kristen here. <laughs> I feel like during that time, she could have been thinking about cooties. That was a big thing during times, but you were trying to be very experimental. I believe that is the truth. I believe the biggest lie here is I caught my mom flirting with one of my sister's boyfriends because there's no way that would happen and there was no confrontation. Even if your sister didn't believe you, you would have said something to the mom. It would have been way more than that. It wouldn't just be there. I believe that's the lie. I fought a girl over a guy in high school. My first kiss was with a leaf attached to a boy's mouth. Those are both the truth. Mm. Somebody go to jail. Last and final statement. I was born with a hole in my heart. I've had surgery on my chest before, but told no one. I have the sickle cell trait. This is a little bit sticky. So you say you were born with a hole in your heart? That is correct. And what was this condition called? I plead the fifth. You don't know? I plead the fifth. So you were born with a hole in your heart, and what happened? I don't know. If you had a hole in your heart, you wouldn't be here today. Okay. So did dad operate on you? Was there a surgery? I don't know. So you don't know. How do you know you had a hole in your heart? I'm not sure. So did you just make this up? You I have to that. answer the questions that are being asked. I feel that answering these questions is giving you too much information. This is the part of the interrogation. You need to be answering Sometimes the criminal does not answer and they leave it up to the interrogator to find out. So you had a hole in your heart when you were born. It says it on the statement, doesn't it? You said you had surgery on your chest before, but you told no one. Now, do you care to show us where the surgery was? So you had breast surgery. And why did you do that? I don't know. So who did you tell? Can you tell me, can you show me where the incision was? No! So what's, what's, what, was it the left one or was it the right Unbelievable. one? Unbelievable. Was it the left one or was it the right one? Both, sir. So you had surgery on both. Did you have a lift or I'm did you have a reduction? You. I'm not telling you. So what type of surgery was it? I think this is private. It's not private if it's put down on the It's paper. in my statement, so carry on. What type of surgery was it? I already told you. Was it a lift? Mm. Okay. You say you have the sickle cell trait. What is sickle cell? I don't know. How do you not know something How don't you have? know? I'm asking you a question. What is sickle cell? Did you go to med school? What sick? No, I didn't. Well, that's your fault. Did you go to med school? Mm. No, you didn't. What is sickle cell? So how do you know you carry the trait? Who did you get the trait from? I think that's self-explanatory. No, it's not. Okay. Who in your family has sickle cell that you got the trait? It's pretty much self-explanatory. No, it isn't. You have a lot of people in your family. It could have been your mom or your dad. Mm. What side of it did you get it from? Mm. All right. As you can see, our criminal is not cooperating. They're trying to be quite difficult here. Are you going to tell me what this sickle cell no. is? So when's the last time you went and checked up on this? I am not answering any of your questions. You're going to have to choose the lie for yourself. Okay. Well, I've been with her for seven years, going on eight, known her for way more. So this surgery would have had to have been before me. And at that point, I do not believe she did that. I would have seen the incision, I would have seen the scar, I would have seen something. Because you best believe I've been analyzing and I know everything. So the lie is I've had surgery on my chest before and no one knows. The reason why nobody knows is because it's a lie. My last question to you is how long were you on bed rest when you had the surgery? I don't know. You don't know? Were you on bed rest? I don't know. Or did you just wake up? I don't school? know. You don't know? No. Yeah, okay. That's all right, because we know. We know. Y'all comment below what's the lie. I've had surgery yeah. on my chest before, mm -hmm. but told no one is the truth. Yeah. What? If I was lying. <laughs> So, as you guys can see, I did my job as a detective. I got, I scored 90% on this test. So ma'am, 
You. I am not going. You are going. No, I'm not. No, I am not going. No. You're under no, arrest. No, I am not. You're being Sir, under arrest. You're being you, detained. No. You're being under arrest. No. You're being under arrest. No. You're being detained. I won't go. We should go ahead and get married. We should go ahead and get married. I don't want to put a rush on you. Hope I ain't putting too much on you. Way more than a crush on you. And you love it when I touch on you. Yeah, I feel why I'm time.